He was a king amongst his peers on the track, and Prince Diablo has the performances and breeding to ensure he'll be a success at stud. By the leading Irish sire Premier Fantasy, out of the impeccably bred Best of Diablo, Prince Diablo finished his career with a record of 41 starts for 22 wins and 7 minor placings, earning in excess of $144,000. Trained throughout the majority of his career by leading mentor John Finn, Prince Diablo's debut was in a heat of the Mega Maiden series at the Gardens when he clocked 29.66. The second favourite, King Pinstar, followed by Goofy Ford, and then a good way back to Grass Cutter. They were followed a long way back to Chronicle Cracker. Over on the outside, bit treated, followed by Simon Bear. And at the tail of Phil Seafood Express, Prince Diablo, the leader, King Pinstar, having a crack at it on the turn, goes to the outside. Prince Diablo kicked the length in front, comes away now, and beat King Pinstar up to third, Goofy Ford. By... Following a win at Bulleye over the 472 metre trip, the Prince returned to the Gardens in a semi-final of the Group 1 National Derby. He jumped good nowhere in knock and he's going to lead easily at the judge. Into second place there was Prince Diablo getting along the inside at that first turn. Kingpin star, they were followed by Main Dragger. Up and around them goes Alan Elroy as they go down the back straight. And then came Postcard Bandit, a good margin away to Bavada Dosser. And Coastal Storm's gone and misses at the turn of the field. But out of the back straight, Prince Diablo's well clear. Four lengths to nowhere in knock followed by Kingpin star. But home goes Prince Diablo. Blow, beat no hour in knocker in third place King Pinstar fourth Alan Elroy his sixth length win was recorded in a time of 29 24 just one 100th outside the track record following a luckless third in the final Prince Diablo then clocked 30 and 62 at Richmond before a breathtaking 25 95 romp at Bulleye becoming one of just a handful of greyhounds to have broken the magical 26 second mark he made his debut at Wentworth Park in July 2011 when scoring easily in 30 and 23. But at his next start, he announced to all and sundry he was a star on the horizon. The pace he's got to burn them off on the inside. Prince Diablo got away to be four in front of Alan Bullman over it. They were followed by Laura's Tiger, Gail Allen. Well back in the run, Grace in delete, Sarah Bale and Rambling Gypsy. Prince Diablo nailed to the rails, going great guns. Eight in front, Sarah in second position is Alan Bullman, followed by Laura's Tiger, Grace in delete, as Prince of Diablo scores very easily. Prince of Diablo and I reckon he's run time. He's won by about eight lengths. The winning margin was seven and a quarter lengths, the time 29.70, just four lengths off the track record. His stats now stood at 16 starts for eight wins, but the best was yet to come. After clocking a flying 29.66 and a free-for-all, Prince Diablo was then set for the National Sprint Championships. Third is Hillcrest Gwen, wider out there is Wenske, followed by Alderbree. Second last is Main Dragon, Street Boss the last one. It's Prince Diablo by five lengths to Dana Travis, six lengths then to Wenske, followed by Hillcrest Gwen, but it's all Prince Diablo. Leads by four or five lengths to Dana Travis, that pair go through to the final, and Prince Diablo by four lengths to Dana Travis and Wenske third. His winning heat time was a scintillating 29.55, a length and a half outside Queen Lauren's long-standing track record. Luck in running again deserted him when he finished down the track in the state final, but his next major assignment came at the nation's capital, the Group 3 Canberra Cup, where he set new track record figures in his heat win. Away well, very slow to go was Oaks Road, and look at Spring Gun come across. Spring Gun went to the lead from Prince Diablo, past the pen, up the third was Oaks Road. They were followed then by Jeruba, hooking up and around the outside, Stetson Lily from Allowance. A gap in the race then, two bomb disposal, and dropping out to last, Nicholas's Habit off the top run, Spring Gun in front, here's Prince Diablo. Prince Diabolo chiseling for an inside run, gets it, running on late Oaks Road, but it's Prince Diabolo through beat Oaks Road, third home with Spring Gun. Scoring by two lengths from Oaks Road, Prince Diabolo took one and a half lengths off the old mark when clocking 30 and 11. One week later and from box one in the final, Prince Diablo would smash his own track record. Racing, Prince Diablo missed at Oaks Road, missed it also, and first away was good thing with Strapper's boy. Prince Diablo's trying to get through behind those. Oaks Road's looking for a passage as Prince Diablo got the fly, went to the lead. Prince Diablo into the back by three. Oaks Road the chase, a good thing the outside, moving up has pushed the paint. That were followed next in the race by Strapper's boy. Further back was He's Invincible and Calamag Kid. Prince Diablo went for home on the corner. Dash six in front. In second place, Oaks Road, but Prince Diablo tearing away with a cup, and Prince Diablo takes out the cup by seven lengths. 
The time was 29.96 and the Prince became the first Greyhound in history to break 30 seconds for the 530 metre trip and claim the $25,000 first prize. Back to Wentworth Park for the Group 1 Paws of Thunder series and Prince Diablo scored an effortless victory in a brilliant best of night 29.56 when defeating eventual series winner Alan Hertz. He then headed to Albion Park for a heat of the Gold Coast Cup and an encounter with eventual Group 1 Brisbane Cup victor Glenn Gallon. Going with them as well into the first turn. Isadell is the leader by about two lengths on Prince Diablo outside Swift Warrior. Then came Glenn Gallon rushing into it quickly, followed by Flying Kero. Well back, Noir Warrior, Honey Lass and High Interest last of all. In front, Isadell trying hard as Prince Diablo and Glenn Gallon's going to rail underneath the pair of them. Glenn Gallon took the shortcut. Prince Diablo out wide. Isadell Adele comes back again. Prince Diablo, he lunged and got there. The Prince was unable to take his place in the final after securing an invitation to the Group 1 Top Gun at the Meadows where he was unplaced. And despite injuries constantly hampering his preparation, he clocked another flying victory at Wenty before stepping out at Richmond to score by an ever-widening 13-length margin. Well towards the outside, leads them past the post the first time. Go Mighty Shiraz is up there in the early stages with also Linda Lee, perfect power back towards the tail with also Benchmark the last. As they race up the back straight now and the leader up the back, out by a few lengths is going to be Prince Diablo. Make that about 10 lengths, followed by Linda Lee. Then came perfect power, Go Mighty Shiraz. Back to the tail is Benchmark. But as they straighten up, it's a race of Prince Diablo. He wins it by 15 lengths. The time was 30 and 20, just four 100s outside the track record before he embarked on his next mission, the Group 2 Gosford Cup. Leading throughout, he won his heat in 30 and 23 before starting from box four in the final. Off and running, now bouncing out in front. Where's the risk? Is going to run to the leader. Prince Diablo, things missing, getting up there nicely at the first turn. But where's the risk? The leader led four lengths to Prince Diablo, followed over on the outside by Reibenburger. And then things missing. A good way back to main drag, Abel Drama. Nicholas is having an Adamy way out of the back straight. Where's the risk? The leader. Here he comes, Prince Diablo. Prince Diablo shot clear on the turn. And then came further back, main drag, and Nicholas Abbott. But Prince Diablo, the way we probably supply Gold Cup. Final. Another group victory, this time scoring by six and a half lengths in 29.92, and Prince Diablo had asserted himself as one of the best in the business. From the tight two-turn tracks to the sweeping embraces of Bulleye, the Prince acquitted himself with distinction in the heats of the Group 3 Cyril Rowe goal plate, where he scored easily before lining up as an even money favourite in the final from box eight. Straight line away first to break it on the inside, El Cabello apparently so got away quickly. There goes Prince Diablo up and around them, swept to the lead at the first corner. Lonesome was next, apparently so in bother. Well back, Fancy Dean ahead of it was Sucker Punch coming to the corner and Prince Diablo seven in front of El Cabello. Fancy Dean's on the inside from Lonesome, apparently so is well back with Mandy Wig and Sucker Punch, but Prince Diablo's going to rob in with the plate and Prince Diablo scores Brilliantly. It was back-to-back -back group race victories for Prince Diablo as he claimed the final by six lengths in a low-flying 26.02. Two starts later he clocked 30 and 34 when winning at Richmond, but at his last ever race start, the Prince displayed the undoubted class race fans had become accustomed to. Came out the back and first away Wally Slater, Prince Diablo got straight behind it. Three lengths away was raised the bar, followed by Kylie Rillette. Hello, Wally Slater's broken down. They were followed next by Thrilling Fonz, which is well back in the ruck with Jack's Revenge Lawn Bowler. Proven Idaho, but Prince Diablo out and off and gone. And around the corner at $1.40, he's got to five to two on. He's well clear, raised the bar in second place. Time will be interesting. He is really powering the line, Prince Diablo. He wins by about 11. 11 links at sound the line. On a wet track and at his first start over the 515 metres at Bulleye, Prince Diablo recorded a brilliant 28-63 win, scoring by nearly 10 lengths. But that victory would be the Prince's swan song. From 41 starts, he yielded 22 wins, 14 of those coming in the best time of the meeting. And for breeders looking for our cross blood, mixed with one of the best damn lines in Australia, Prince Diablo has it all. His sire, Premier Fantasy, provides an influx of Irish breeding, while his dam, Best of Diablo, comes from one of Australia's top producing dams in Thai Magic. Thai Magic is the mother of an absolute feast of feature race winners, including the sprint sensation Bond, who set track record figures in the 2005 Sandown Shootout, 
before becoming an influential sire. Ty again, the 2009 Australian Brood Bitch of the Year, who produced the likes of Magnifique, Repeated and Ty Alert. Track record holder Ty Image, Auckland Cup winner Freddie Magic, and Inspiration Lee, the Gosford Run for Roses winner in 2006. Best of Diablo's dam line also traces back to breeding powerhouses such as Lawrence Desire, Genuine Replica and Model Belinda. Prince Diablo has it all. Impeccable racetrack performances highlighted by speed and strength, an outcross sire and a dam line equal to the best anywhere in the world. The Prince is now standing at Journey Park Stud.